Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how can you ask questions to your MD file, which are like markdown files. And this exercise we are going to do using OpenAI and LangChain. So let's quickly jump on to the code which I have already written. In order to get started, you need to install all these packages. So unstructured, then OpenAI, LangChain, Markdown, ChromaDB, and TikToken. So these are the few things which we need to install. And I have already grabbed my OpenAI key and set it in an environment variable. So I am not displaying it here, but it is already there in my environment variable. Okay, so in order to get started, what you need to do is you need to use unstructured markdown loader, which is an implementation from LangChain. And here I am passing the name of my file. So it is in my local directory, so I need not to give any path. But if you are putting it somewhere else, then definitely you have to provide the complete path over here. And once you have this file name, you can just pass it onto the loader. And here, if you want to get your output based on the elements, then you need to supply this. But if you are okay to get complete text as a one shot or in a mixed form, then you need not to provide this particular mode here. So once this is done, you can just load the data and you will see that the data is appearing over here. Okay, so this is the data I'm having in my MD file. Next thing is, let's say instead of single file, you have multiple file, which is multiple files, which is a very common case when you are dealing with a huge application. So let's say you have a documentation, you have n number of files, then instead of individual file, what you can do is you can just directly use the directly loader and then provide the extension of your file name. So it will read all the file, MD files which are placed under this particular directory, which you will mention. So I'm not going to do it because I have just one file. So we have the data. Next thing is we need to split our data. So the splitting part is pretty straightforward. We are using recursive character text reader and giving a chunk size of 500 with no overlap. So I'm okay with missing some information here and there. And this is going to create the splits for me. So my text is pretty small, so may not get more than a one or two files. And once we have the our data ready, we need to generate the embeddings for all those splits we have created. So this is the place where we are using Chroma. And let's see what happens here. So validation error for OpenA embeddings didn't find the OpenA key. Let me quickly execute my first cell. Okay, so here we are generating the embedding and put it into a vector store, which is Chroma in memory database for us. And once this is done, next thing is we need to switch on to the LLM, which is OpenAI. And here I'm using Turbo 3.5 with a temperature setting of zero. And then I'm constructing a QA chain, which is going to take LLM as a parameter and then our retriever. So these are the two things which you need to set in order to construct your QA chain. So let's quickly execute this cell. And then comes the query construction part. So here I'm giving a question where to report the security related issues. And then I'm just passing that query to QA chain. So let's quickly run this as well. And here you can see that you can report security related issues to this particular email ID. Now let me try out another question. So the document also talks about the preferred language whenever you want to connect with any security group or service help desk. So let me run this with this question and I'm asking which language can be used for communication and it is saying the preferred language for communication is English. So this is how easy it is to load your MD files and ask the questions out of that. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching.